This is Zoe's podcast show. We talk about the UFC. So make sure to grab a drink, tie your laces, fix your face, catch a breeze, and get ready because it's about to go down. Let's go. Oh, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another edition of Zoe's podcast show. I am your host, Zoe, and I'm going to let you know what's going down oh man it's been a while since i talked to y'all it's been a minute i was gonna come on last week on tuesday but some stuff was going down in the crib not not, nothing crazy but family came down you know how when family come down to visit for the holidays and stuff like that you know how that go it's crazy it's crazy so they came down uh, last week to have Thanksgiving with us. And, man, it was a good one. It was good. I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving out there, too, man. Hope you guys had time to chill out with the fam. I know I did. You know, the, 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 the drinks was flowing. The cards was dealt. The dominoes was out. You know, it was, it was that kind of Thanksgiving. It's that kind of party. It's that kind of gathering that I had this Thanksgiving. And I hope you guys had the same thing, too. Maybe not the same, you know, out, you know, maybe not all that. But I hope you had a good time. I know I did, man. You know, every time I'm, ga- I'm gathered with my family, my friends, man, it's just something special. You know, we, we we get together, we talk mess to each other, you know, we got the laughs going on, grandma got something to say, you know, it's always something cool out there, you know what I'm saying, Not, no drama, that's the one I like, when you show the family, with the no drama, you know, so, Tuesday was crazy, of course, the rest of the week was crazy. Uh, this past weekend was crazy. You know, it was just crazy. It's still a little bit crazy, a little bit, but we're getting through it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's going to get more crazy as we get on to Christmas. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that another time. Um, a lot of stuff we got to talk about, man. There's a lot of stuff that we had to catch up on. First of all, we got to catch up on... UFC Argentina. We got to talk about that. And of course, I mean, I, I mean, do we have to talk about the Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz thing? Do we really have to talk about that? I mean, I don't, I don't have to. But it's what happened this past weekend. That fight and also the fight with... Oh, man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> in Gano and Blades. That was a quick one, though. So we can talk about that real quick. But I don't know what that... Man, what, it was a lot of stuff, man. There was a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to talk about first. Um, I guess we talk about Argentina first, man. Argentina. UFC Argentina it was a really good fight card. Not all of it, but you know, it was decent. It was pretty decent. Um, if you heard my last podcast, uh, I talked about some things that, not some things, some fights that I was actually looking forward to. You know. Uh, I was looking forward to the Santiago Ponzinibbio fight. I was looking to the Ricardo Lamas fight and the Khalil Roundtree fight. Those are the fights I was looking forward to. But, you know, stuff happens and I couldn't get to the podcast. So let's talk about it real quick. Um, Let's first talk about what happened to Cynthia Calvino. Man. I mean, you know, 
what can I say? What can I say? She came out and submitted this girl in the first round. Now, I, I didn't pick Cynthia be, just because of the fact that when she came out and did the weigh-ins, she was done. Like, she looked at, like she shouldn't be fighting. I'll tell you the truth. It was like, why am I looking at that? Why is she fighting? And I thought she would have that same energy in the fight. But, man, was I wrong. I was wrong from the get-go. Cynthia came out and beat this chick in the first round. Ended of the first round, but the first round nonetheless, right? Submission. Ground and pound. All the grapple all of that was good. Ground game was spectacular. So shout out to Cynthia, man, for doing her thing, man. I I, I mean I just didn't I, I I like Cynthia, man. I like her. As a fighter, I do like her. And I don't think she should have got that much time for smoking the Chiba Chiba. Smoking that twin twin twin. You know what I'm saying? That was wrong. I thought that was wrong. But it's just the, when she came in in the weigh-ins, man. When she came in in that weigh-ins, looked at like she shouldn't be doing. And she came overweight with that. Two pounds overweight. You know? So I was just like, man, she's done. She's not going to get. She just go back, you know, to the drawing board. I didn't think she should have fought. Like, she still fought. And I was like, man, it's going to be it's gonna be bad for her. Because if that was a weight cut, imagine what the fight's going to be. And I wasn't feeling it for her. But she came out, man, and did her thing. So shout out to Cynthia for that, man. Shout out to her. Marlon Vera won by submission as well. Um, let's talk about the, the Khalil Roundtree and Johnny Walker fight, though. What a special treat that was. I picked Khalil Roundtree because I know Khalil Roundtree. Not, not, not know him like, you know, we say what up to him every day or anything like that. And I don't know, like, he fights, you know. I, I, I know him from The Ultimate Fighter. And he has some really good fights in the UFC as well. But that's why I picked him. Now, this Johnny Walker dude, I didn't know about him. But I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad I saw what Johnny Walker did to Khalil Roundtree. Knocked him out in the first round. That was something special, man. I I say this every week. and I'm getting tired of saying it every week. But I will say it every week if I have to. Something special happens every fight event. I don't care if it's a fight night card. I don't care if it's a pay-per-view, FS1, Fight Pass, ESPN Plus when that comes out, which I'm going to be just be getting done with my Fight Pass, right? Um, something special happens, man. And you can't miss these things because something special will happen. Now, the Johnny Walker thing, that was special because this dude came out and, like, destroyed... Khalil Roundtree. I mean, just Khalil Roundtree had no business in the fight with him. On paper, yeah, but when the when the when the fight happened, I thought Khalil Roundtree was going to knock this dude out first round knockout. You know, he has the uh, the the power for that. You know, he doesn't have that much cardio, so he has to get him out fast. But for that to happen to him, first round. Man, man, man. The Johnny Walker dude is special. Now, I want to see him win another fight. Somebody else in that lightweight division. But for right now, that dude is something special, man. That dude is something special. Um, also, Ricardo Lamas, he had the knockout against Darren Elkins. Um... I had Ricardo Lamas doing this, doing this thing too, man. 
I heard Carl Lawson was in this thing. Now, it's no surprise for me. No surprise for me. But the main event was Santiano Santiago Ponzinibbio getting that fourth round knockout on Neil Magny. Knocked him clean out. Just just hit him with the one two step back and Neil Magny just fell flat on the mat. Man, it was that was crazy. That was crazy. So shout outs to him for getting that win. Santiago Ponzinibbio is back at it in the welterweight division. Going to be climbing up now. Um, and, yeah, he's back at it. So that's the real, you know, short version of what happened at UFC Argentina. Now, UFC in, what was it? China, Shanghai, I don't know which one it was. It was in China. It was in it was somewhere in Asia, right? Um now the reason I say that is because I didn't see that one. To tell you the truth, man. I didn't see that one. Man, there was a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff, man. My family's here and everything was going on. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't step away to check out what was going to happen in the fight. You know? I wish I would have. I, I still have Fight Pass. I could have, you know, just, you know, check it out on my on my phone. But, oh, man, it was it's, it's too much stuff was going on, man. Too much stuff was going on. So, I did not see the fight. Now, I know what happened in the main event. I don't know what happened with Alistair Overeem. I know he won the first round. I mean, excuse me, fourth round by knockout. I know that happened. So shout out to Alistair Overeem with that. Um, Lin Jang, Jang Ling, I can't even say his name, but he wins with a knockout in the third round over uh, David Zawada. So I know that happened. I don't know how special those things were, but I know that happened. And I knew, saw from on Twitter, Francis Ngannou, Beats Curtis Blades by knockout in the first round, first minute of the round. He beats Curtis Blades, man. So that's two for Francis Ngannou against Curtis Blades. And I thought Curtis Blades was going to come out just, you know, busting heads like he did to Alistair Overeem, but I guess that didn't happen, right? Francis Ngannou was back, I guess. I, I mean, I didn't see it. I didn't see it yet. I guess I got to check it out on Fight Pass and see what happened, but guess he's back at it. He's back on doing his knockout stuff. He's got to, I mean, he's got to work on that ground game and be confident, I guess, back on his, you know, his, his top game, you know, pulling the trigger or whatever, you know. Um, so I got to check it out. But y'all let me know what, what happened out there, man. Y'all let me know. Uh, did he look like Francis Ngannou again? Was he a little timid still? Does he still have that, you know, I don't want to pull the trigger thing? Or did he come out just straight bust, busting heads? I don't know. I'll check it out, though. I'll check it out. But y'all let me know, man, what y'all think about that. Um, Man, I don't want to talk about this. I swear I don't want to talk about this thing right now. I swear I don't want to do this. I guess it's what happened this past weekend. I didn't see it either. If I didn't check out the the, the, the Francis Ngannou and Curtis Blades fight, I definitely didn't see this go on. I wonder how much money they made. I mean, I mean they made money by how much pay per views had, whatever. Who who pirated this? Whoever pirated this, shout outs to y'all. <laughs> y'all know it's bad, right? <laughs> Whoever pirated this fight, <laughs> shout outs to y'all <laughs> for doing the real. I would have done the real too, but I, like I said, I was busy. I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but whoever powered this fight, <laughs> shout outs to y'all, man, for, for 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 being true to MMA, but at the same time, not being true to MMA. <laughs> but. <laughs> Whoever, whoever saw this fight, man, shout out to y'all, man. And they know what fight I'm talking about. They're talking about the, the, the Chuck Liddell versus Tito Ortiz fight. Um, <laughs> like I said, I don't want to talk about this, man. 
I don't want to talk about this. But let's give let's, let's give a shout out to Tito Ortiz for finally beating Chuck Liddell in your old age, man. Finally doing that, right? Finally got his revenge and knocks Chuck Liddell out in the first round, man. Shout out to Tito Ortiz, man. Seriously, he's actually getting better, better and better with age, right? Uh, matter of fact, just just scrap that. Just scrap that. Don't I don't want to say that no more. Stop. I'm stopping myself. I mean, these guys are like fifty years old, bro. I know Liddell is like about fifty, right? He's got to be about fifty. Don't tell me he's less than fifty. He got to be like around fifty. You know what I'm saying? And Tito Ortiz, man, he's he's got to be like 45-ish. You know? You know? Oh, man. I don't, don't want to talk about it no more. I know one thing. I know one person don't want to talk about it no more either. John Jones. He don't want to talk about this either more, no more. Uh, Talk about Chuck Liddell can never, ever in his life call him out again. And I agree with that. Chuck, sorry, man, but it's been a rap. It's been a rap. You know? But uh you know, I saw some pictures and everything like that. Of course he the Tito Ortiz wore his shorts that he used to wear with the with the flames on it. Uh Chuck Liddell had his uh, Iceman shorts. So that was pretty cool, I guess. Whoever watched it. I guess that was pretty cool. You know? Um, T. Ortiz did the, you know, the shovel thing. And, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't never mind. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, so that's all I got for today, man. Um, you know, it's, it's been real crazy this week. Uh, with, you know, Thanksgiving and Black Friday and, you know, Cyber Monday today and everything like that. It's been a little bit crazy, but still got some more UFC to go, man. You know, this weekend, we got the tough finale. Can't wait to see that. And the only ones that I really want to see is my boy, Darren Stewart. My boy, Darren Stewart, is going to be fighting on that fight card. I saw him at UFC 228. I might put a picture out there that... Me and him, we was we was sharing, uh, drinking. Not sharing a drink. That's stupid. But sharing conversation, and we was drinking together and all that kind of stuff. Um, at uh, at UFC two at the after UFC two twenty eight. So shout out to Darren Stewart for doing this thing. Um, and of course the main event: Rafael dos Anjos RDA versus Kumaro Usman. And shout out to Kumaro Usman too. That's all my UFC 228 when he's supposed to be the uh, the, the backup to if, if anybody missed weight or anything like that. Um, so shout outs to Kamar Uzman uh, for that as well. I got a picture with him too, and um, I'm gonna put that out there as well. I might I might I don't know I, I might I might put that out there. But uh, that fight is gonna be coming up this weekend. I'm definitely gonna check that out. Um, we're going to see if Kamar Usman is going to be over 30% this time. Come on, man. Fight over 30% this time. And uh, we're going to see how Rafael Dos Anjos gets over that L that he had a few months ago. And we're going to see with that. I'm going to have my picks and everything for that. Um, I'm not going to have any picks for the tough people because I did not watch the tough people. But... I'm going to have my picks for that main event, though. And I'll let you know right now. I'm picking uh, Darren Stewart for the uh, for, for the W for that one as well. Um, but that's all I got for today, man. Y'all take it easy. Have an awesome week, man. It's been crazy. Y'all just, you know, do what y'all have to do to catch up and do what you have to do to get through this holiday season. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool, especially with these fights coming up. Uh, UFC, uh, the, the tough finale. Uh, we got still got the fight night with Junior Dos Santos and Te, uh, Tattoo Ivasa. That's going to be crazy. Um, UFC 231. We hope and pray that everybody gets their, like, you know, healthy, 
just wrap bubble wrap around everyone, please, because we don't want no problems with UFC 231. Um, and we also have the, the, the UFC on Fox, the Kevin Lee versus Ally Quits at 2. That's going to be crazy. And the last event of the year, John Jones versus Alexander Gustafson at UFC 232. And with that, the super fight, the women's super, it's not even a women's super fight, it is a super fight, let's just call it what it is, the super fight with Cyborg versus Amanda Nunez, man, that's gonna be crazy too, so y'all get it straight, man, y'all get everything popping, get everything organized, you know, I know it's gonna be crazy, but trust me, I'm here with y'all, it's crazy for me too, man, Um, but that's all I got for today, man, y'all take it easy, y'all have a good one, I'm going to check y'all out next time and make sure to catch me on there, um, on this podcast. And, uh, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm just just going on and on because I don't want it to end, man. I I like talking to y'all. I like talking to y'all. Y'all my peoples. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all here with me. Y'all listen to me and I love listening to y'all too. So if y'all ever want to, um, hit me up on Instagram or on Twitter, um, Hit me up on Instagram at Zoe's Podcast Show 1 and hit me up on Twitter at Zoe Yours Truly. Um, hit me up with some questions. If y'all want to come on the show, hit me up with that as well. Um, I love to have anybody on the show who wants to come on the show. Just hit me up and I can make it happen. I guarantee I can make it happen. Um, but that's all I got. Again, that's, that's not my third time saying it, right? Uh, that's all I got. Uh, hit me up next time. I'm going to have another podcast up for the picks. For the tough, not a tough finale. You know what I'm yeah, the tough finale. Yeah, 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 for the tough finale. Yeah. So, hit me up there. And as always, if y'all got challenges in your life, just make sure to don't pray for yourself. Pray for the bear. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>